Hey, it's your boy, Dragon Blitz Daily. This video is from my Symphony of the Night no-hit randomizer challenge that I'm attempting over on my live stream, twitch.tv slash dragonblitz. You should stop by sometime. And my goal is to beat the game without taking any damage, and if I fail, I have to re-randomize the game and try again. Please don't forget to subscribe, and on with the video. All right, let's, uh, let's try this again. Reset the timer. Let's hop in. Uh, remind me after this run and I'll see if I can update it, Eldritch, because it might just be me not having updated it yet. That's very possible. Hydro Storm. Let's go. I'm trying my best. All right, not bad. We've only done 21 resets of this. It's not that bad. My glitchless no hit attempts took like what? It was like 100 resets, something like that. But that wasn't randomized. One of these days, we're going to start with a Crystal Grim that does 999 damage. We're going to start with a Talisman. And it's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. Hydro Storm sounds like a Pokemon move. Yeah, maybe. Blue Knuckles. Whatever you do, don't Google Blue Knuckles. Spoilers, it's Sonic. Um, increases rare item appearance. What's my strength? 26? That's not enough to one shot. Yeah, it was a crit. I knew it, dude. I knew it. If I wasn't aware that that was a crit, I could have easily just killed myself by like trying to dive kick into the ward and then landing on top of it without actually killing it. That's where game knowledge comes in, where you just got to know these things because you could easily screw yourself over. Also, increased rare item appearances, my ass. Where's my rare items? Uh, speaking of, actually, we're not going to check. I keep telling myself I need to not do the caverns route anymore at the start because it's not as good as the normal route because I get two free items if I do the normal route. Okay. I googled the blue waffle instead. No, please. Don't do that. Just just Google Blue Knuckles, it's fine. Morning Star. How come there's no evening star? What's up with that? Spiked Iron Club and then Swift Upper Diagonal Attack. Okay, I mean, doesn't have great range, has decent attack power, and we can backdash cancel with it. It's a decent utility item, I guess. Matthias has made a good case for us to put death back into the game and entrance for aperture. Why? What's what's his uh his reasoning? Because in every other preset where death skip is allowed, we make the players earn it. Yeah, but that requires, like, a skill to skip death in some regard, right? Where this, it would just be walk into the thing, and we would, people would just do it every time. I don't think you need to put death back in. I think that's a bad idea. I, I would argue that's not a very good case. No.
I think the idea of like people are going to do death skip every single time anyway, so like what's the point in just wasting their time? Because that's all it is, is you're just wasting their time. The only other effective thing that you do is you block them from getting an extra item check, I guess. Or two extra item checks. If you want to force people to not get those item checks ever again, that's, I guess, reasonable. If you want to nerf those item checks from the starting skeletons. But realistically, like, you're not really earning death skip in that regard. You're just walking through a door and then walking out. We do got that Jolie symbol, indeed. What a beautiful new emote. Yeah, 7TV finally allowed me to add new emotes after like a month, so I was finally able to add Jolie symbol. I mean, shout outs to my Discord. People keep coming up with silly emotes and posting them in the Discord, and I'm like, all right, I'll add it, fuck it. No items down here. I don't have any money either. Uh, this is bad. All right. We're gonna skip the library again. I made this one. Dude, thumb up is so funny. I don't know why, it just is. He just It's just so sincere, it's just so. Like the smile and everything, it's great. it's great. Secret room check down there. I've already talked about how I'm not doing that check for two reasons. One, I'd have to fight Doppelganger, and Doppelganger is a risk that I'm not willing to take. And two, I'd have to get past the um, sword guard as well. Both of which are enemies that are scary. That I'm. It's not worth the two extra item checks. And it's a lot of extra time. No, that's not bad at all, Daniel. Congrats on your 51-minute uh, run. Wow, yummy cake. Chat, would you eat this cake? With with the, the slime on the bottom of it? For one dollar? Yum. Stay away from me. I swear, sometimes these spirit orbs just do not do what they're supposed to do. Okay, power of wolf, skill of wolf. Can I get wolf, maybe? It's just penicillin, it's fine. <laughs> that was a little scary, not gonna lie. How many times have I died to flea men? I think it was only once, maybe twice. Do we get a dollar for eating it or do you have to pay a dollar? It's both. You have to pay a dollar and then you get a dollar. So really it's it stonks if you think about it. Oh God, he's coming. Oh Lord, he's coming. That was a little close, a little too close for comfort. Did not like that. Did not like that at all. Heart, max up. Morning set. All right. Useless items.
I mean, it's better. 42 attack. It's a sword. The English Navy. Everyone knows that they're, um, they exist. England is canonical to the Castlevania, Castlevania universe. Red Rust. Oh boy, my favorite. That's a Masamune. Its stats aren't necessarily amazing, but it's still the Masamune, so we will switch to that. A world where the Red Rust is overpowered, and we get Soul of Wolf! Okay, this seed is looking kinda based, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, this is looking kinda nice. The only issue is, what's my current strength? 19? I don't know if that's enough to kill Minotaur and Werewolf. This is a number that I should just know off the top of my head. Actually, I have Blue Knuckle, which I think double hits. I don't know. I mean, I could just spam Masamune and hope for the best because it should just obliterate them realistically. So... YOLO. This should insta-kill both of them, I feel like. Like that? Yeah, it should. Yeah, okay. I figured. I figured. Yeah, the special attack is insane. Because the special attack damage isn't randomized. So at the very least, the special will always be good. Even if the base damage isn't very good. So now the question is, why do we have all these relics? They don't actually do anything. <laughs> In logic, you would think like, oh, we have Wolf and Power of Wolf and Skill of Wolf. That unlocks so much for us. It actually doesn't. It doesn't unlock anything. Sparkling Ring, that's another Zircon. a lichen seed yeah except um lycanthrope uh the the mana cost is not as bad so you can out of logic scylla mm, i don't think so we can't get to scylla eldritch with just wolf and power of wolf climb the waterfall Oh my god, we could climb the waterfall. We have Jewel of O- or, uh, the- the Jolie symbol as well. I forgot about that. That's actually so funny. Have I ever played Ender Lilies? I own the game, but I haven't played it yet. I plan on playing it at some point, but... We'll see. No promises. Every time I tell myself I'm going to play a new game, I boot up Castlevania Symphony of the Night instead. Kill that guy. Gravity boots. Well, well, well. That's pretty damn good. Some out of logic flight action. I'll take it. Not bad at all. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we can... I mean, we can check every flight location. We should just do that. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna do all the flight location checks, I think. We can't check gravity boots because we don't have Jewel of Open, but that's fine. Because what are we likely to find in the next location is probably just going to be flight. So... Don't do it! 
That guy almost threw out his boomerangs. Oof. That would have been scary. What a map. We can fight all rocks. That is true. Mana prism. That's nice. Silver ring is highly valuable. We should definitely go to the library now. Seed's looking kind of good, not gonna lie. Things are looking pretty decent for us. We still need to not throw, but I'm feeling pretty good. We're getting some out of logic checks taken care of. Have I finished any seed today? No, because if I finished a seed, I would be done with the challenge. So, what up, Miko? All right, let's do it. I was a little scared, not gonna lie, that he didn't instantly die. go easy peasy yeah it turns out masamune is uh one of the best weapons in the game for a reason Woo! i love nothing that's my favorite reward the friends we made along the way. True. <laughs> Having a nice little dinner with all rocks. Cube? Sure. Hopefully we find a decent uh, sub weapon. Sure, we'll find one eventually. So now, I mean, we just warp to outer wall, I think. Is it better to warp from, I guess from here is fine, right? I just have to be careful about my magic usage. Oh God, those candles kind of ate into my magic a lot. Okay, that's fine. I do have the mana prism if I really need to use it, but I prefer not to use it right now. Yeah, this is definitely a better way to get to the warp room. Alright. We'll go outer wall, we'll check the fire of bat will check the other flight locations in castle keep we just have to be a little bit careful um overall oh this is the wrong spot oops i mean i could refill my h my mp go check entrance real quick but i i'm kind of saving that for later we're gonna do that later do you have problems with different runs bleeding together uh, it can happen, for sure, but as of yet, no, that hasn't really been happening. Thankfully, we have the tracker to let me know which relics are available, otherwise I would be very confused. If I get killed by a random Medusa head here, I will cry. Shh, 
They tried their best to kill me. I have a single lonely neuron bouncing in my head like a DVD screensaver. Honestly, so relatable. Not library? We're saving the library for later. Sure. It's the bat bro! He's back! Get his ass in here. Oh god. You lose air control if you walk off of a ledge in um, wolf form, so... I probably could have, like, accidentally landed on, like, an enemy or something like that. Okay. Go Medusa heads. All right. Castle keep time. The seed wants us to go into the caverns, most likely, because we have gravity boots, but... We simply will not do that. Oh, really? Holy glasses, baby. There it is. Believers? Are vindicated. Let's go. It's just that easy. Next up on the prediction, however, is do I finish the seed now? That's the real question. Uh, we don't need that right now. Crusher can Marcel. I'll check the Marcel. Countless blades dice enemies! Oh my god! Yo, Sunjo. We have a chrysogram. Okay. It's not good. The damage on it is not good, but it is a chrysogram. I think Masamune is still worth using for now. Chrysogram is great. Utility, don't get me wrong, but I don't think I'm making that, right? Yeah. Unfortunate that we find the Chrysogrim and its stats are bad, but it's fine, I guess. Yeah, Masamune right now has insane damage potential, so that's why we're keeping it. Wow, my life is maxed up to zero. Love to see it. Metal library card. Hell yes, dude. Hell yes. And fairly valuable. We have a lot of money right now. It might be worth using our library card just to go to the shop. But I don't know. I mean, we can still get to the library without using our library card. I feel like it shouldn't be too difficult to do that, but we got to make it through here first. Take it nice and slow. This music is not helping my anxiety. What was that? Muramasa. Asafune. Well, I mean, it's basically the same thing. Although this one still has a better attack. Thank God that thing has a big hitbox above us. Now we can check this, and it is, oh, the other ring. We definitely need to grab that. The only downside is there's another guy. There's another flea rider. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, now we're fine. Wasn't uh, scary at all. 
I had to make sure to not panic, because if I panicked and just panic untransformed, I would have died. Straight up. All right, we're fine. Everything's fine. I think there's one more guy in this room. If I gravity jump, I might land on top of him. Where is he? Yep, there he is. Okay. Stressful, but we now have access to the Holy Glasses location, which was flight locked. So that might be something good. We'll see though. Ideally, it's something like Jewel of Open. In fact, we can go check it right now. And I mean, it's either that or we go to the library and I feel like we should just go check it now and then do library after. We have a lot of options at our disposal. I think I'm just gonna do it this way because this check is very easy to do since we have uh, wolf power of wolf. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we'll do library after. Uh, the side. I mean, I think no matter what, every seed we're going to have a couple of close calls. If not, just die to some random bullshit. That's just how it goes. This shit is annoying. Wow, life apple. So useful. Okay. Oh. Tribute. You steal men's Be Grant. souls and make them your slaves. Thank you for the good luck and thank you for the sub. Okay, we found a Vlad relic. Cool. Uh. That's pretty good for us. I guess we do library now. We've been putting it off long enough. It's probably worth doing now. <sighs> Whoa, bat bro, why didn't you kill him? I was like, oh, Bat Bros got him. Never again will I tr trust my brother. My Bat Brethren. He tried his best, but... Sometimes your best ain't good enough. Okay. He was too tired. <laughs> Boo! You stink. Uh, we still need to do entrance at some point, but I think library is more valuable. And then we can do entrance after. Okay. Mm what up, Safa? Yeah, I'm gonna save the library card because it's it just has a lot of utility in general. So I'd rather save it. Uh, 
Let's take it nice and easy. Spirit Orb. I mean, might as well grab it. There's no reason not to. Forty-five's not like terrible. We're getting lots of crits though. Stone sword. Just stone sword. Yeah, if that was another now make, I would have died. I'm interested. I would have shit my pants. I'm interested. Force of Echo, why not? Screw it. 2K mana prisms. Library cards for 200, that's huge. Let's check out these weapons. Feeds upon enemy souls, that's not that great for us. Powerful Sword of Flame. Throwing Hunting Sword. Resembles family shield. Wide wide brim? No brim? Impervious to evil attacks? Mm, probably worth grabbing, not gonna lie. Even if it decreases our stats. That makes Beezlebub a little bit more tolerable. Plus 10 strength is probably worth buying. We buy two of these. Just increase our strength as much as we can. Get the dark armor. And then from here, there's nothing else really worth buying. Except for the library cards. One more mana prism. I think it's fine for now. Aren't all attacks evil? True, actually. Hold up. I mean, we don't need to put that on yet, I don't think. And this doesn't really matter to us. It just increases our defense a little bit. Yeah. I don't think we need more rare item drops. Okay. I'm just worried about damage here. Can we, like, hit this guy, please? Nice. Okay. I didn't want to risk doing a gravity jump into that guy and then just fucking dying. Uh, wait, why am I even up here? There's nothing up here for us. We don't have, uh, mist. We can leave. I'm just going to use the wolf to get out of here a little bit quicker because we have plenty of magic. We can now do castle entrance into the caverns, perhaps, because we have the snorkel. I'm kind of waiting to go to the second castle. I don't want to commit to going to the second castle unless I absolutely have to. How goes the challenge? I mean, we're making our way through this seed. It's not been too bad, but it's still scary. All it takes is one mistake and the run's over. Let's save the game just to refill our magic. I want to save my mana prisms until I absolutely need them. They're mostly like a backup item, if anything. Ideally, I don't end up ever having to use my mana prisms because I manage my MP better, but... And reload in case I die. True, actually. Hold on. Someone's spitting. Simply just reload the, the last save if you die. So smart.
I should have enough magic for this section. Oh god, I never killed them! I'm gonna have to remember that on the way back. Actually, I'm not coming back this way. I'm going into the caverns. Well, I'm glad we checked this because we're going to the caverns right now. That's going to save us a trip. I should have enough magic to make it back. Into the caverns we go. Secret room opened. What changes the color of the guardy boots? It's uh, part of the aperture randomizer. No, thank you. I'll, I'll swim instead. Love the video of the no hits. Oh, the no hit glitchless. Yeah, that was a good run. That's how I swim straight to, say, straight to the bottom of the pool. Exactly. And then start back, back stepping on the floor. That's a one shot pretty easily. Happy about that. That's an apple. Let's do this item check real quick. Let's just see what it is. It's a karma coin. Probably not worth trying to deal with uh, that lady. Let's go ahead and swim up the waterfall like any self-respecting dog would. There's nothing there. Damn it. You have to make it through these frogs, which is kind of terrifying, not gonna lie. That should be a sellable probably, right? Yeah, valuable ring. The rest of the section shouldn't be too bad. We just have to worry about this frog, which is dead. Nice. And then the toad. Nice. Nice. Don't need the dim dum set. Holy rod. Topaz circlet? Please tell me that's actually the topaz circlet. Ah, uh, not what I wanted. I want to be immune to poison. Because if I'm immune, immune to poison and dark, I cannot get killed by Beezlebub. I'm immune to Beezlebub's every attack. So that's kind of the goal. Is to have both of those, but... What up, Argoth? Ice damage, damn it. Food. Cooking stream where I cook up Soten food. Great idea. For a second there, I thought my bat that was following me is one of the enemy bats, and I was like, oh my god, that bat is coming for my ass. But it was my bat.
That was close. Way closer than it should have been. And this is the ice brand with mediocre damage. Okay. All this for the fairy card. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Damn it. Trying to be safe here. Okay. That untransformation right there was almost the end of me. Well. I'd rather be safe than sorry here. Dude. Having the snorkel, unironically, is quite nice. And having it before actually entering the caverns. Because before, this whole section would just be so much scarier. Do I have any throwables or something that I can use here? Cross shuriken. I got walk a knife. Okay. That was an insurance policy just in case the soul steel wasn't enough to kill. The dynamite takes too long to explode. Nice. Another Vlad relic. We're gaming. Let's refill our magic. Let's go fight Succubus now. Because I'm trying to think what else could I really do other than Grand Falloon, which I don't want to do. I hate Grand Falloon. And then Slogger and Gaibon are the last two checks other than this that I have access to, I think. So. Yeah, those are the last two checks. Everything else I cannot do. All my homies hate Grand Falloon. True. Don't I already have that? Yeah, I literally already have it. Grand Falloon hates me too? Yep. I can tell. The way that he behaves, he's a very hateful person. Ring of Pale? Talisman? Golden Ring to rule them all! Nice. Does nothing. Yeah, just some moldy cheese, no big deal. Hateful people, did you just assume their plurality in 2023? Boo! Get out of here. What do you got, jokes or something? Boo! <laughs> Why do you spam that fish emote? Chat, why do we spam that fish emote? Could you maybe give me an example of like what spamming that fish emote might look like? I don't know. I, I, I don't know what they're referring to. <laughs> you mean, you mean, you mean that fish emote? I don't know what you're talking about. All right, well, what do we do now? Second castle, I guess? It's either that or Grand Falloon. I mean, either way, we probably just library card out of here. We have six library cards, so.
Let me check real quick. Uh, it says ads are running right now. I didn't even realize. Let me run to the bathroom real quick uh, while these ads are running, and then we'll finish up the seed because I do need to pee. So I'm going to keep spamming Joel as quickly as you possibly can while I uh, be right back. In the Instructions unclear. Dick stuck in fish? What? Huh? Joel? Hopefully it's consensual. I'm sure you and jo Joel have a special relationship. Speaking of special relationships, uh, I'm trying to segue here and I did a terrible job, but let's, uh, does your certain version have black bars? Yes, this is normal for all Castlevania Symphony of the Night um, versions. That's just how the, um, the resolution of the game is. That's completely normal. The game resolution has black bars on the top and bottom of the screen. Uh, I guess I'll buy some more library cards or something. I don't know. What else can I really get? An 8K. I can get more mana prisms, actually. That's probably better. Let's get some more mana prisms. Farewell for now. Soden was created for a 4x3 resolution, but actually doesn't follow a 4x3 resolution. Soden has many screen um, resolutions because this game was created back when there was really no standard for screen resolutions for the PlayStation. Um, so the FMVs have a different screen resolution than like the normal gameplay, which has a different screen resolution than this screen. Um, this screen has a completely different screen resolution than the normal gameplay screen. Emulators will oftentimes kind of fudge that. But for example, if I were to show you what the game is supposed to look like, um, by using like the internal game resolution, every time I open the, this screen, the resolution changes. Do you see that? The actual emulator resolution changes every time I open the screen, because that's just how this game is. This game has multiple resolutions. So, just as an FYI. Interesting fact, pausing the game and going to the menu wipes the video RAM of all sprites and they reload them when the menu goes away. That seems like an incredibly huge waste of time. Yeah, on CRTs, it does not matter. Uh, I think we just go second castle now. What emulator do I recommend? You can type exclamation mark EMU in chat and it'll bring up the emulators that I personally recommend and how to spell them so you can Google them easier. Uh, but for speedrunning, you want to use Bizhawk or Mednifen. Uh, if you're just playing the game casually and you don't really care, you want to use Duck Station. Bizhawk is a multi-core emulator that works for all sorts of different kinds of consoles, which is one of the reasons why I personally also like using it. It's very accurate for speedrunning, and it can run like Super Nintendo, NES, N64, uh, Sega Genesis. It's, it can run everything, basically, which is really nice. Um, Duck Station is just PlayStation games, but it's a very good PlayStation emulator. So it's kind of like use what you want for the given situation. Yeah, BizHawk is a tassing uh, emulator. Um, they've been updating it to be a little bit more friendly to non-tassing in general, but it's first and foremost a tassing emulator. So, so a lot of the tools and such are designed with uh, people making tool-assisted speedruns in mind. All right, I guess it's uh, time to go to the second castle. Not much else to do. And no worries, I'm always trying to help inform people that need information, especially when it comes to this game and playing this game. The only thing I don't do is tell people where to find a ROM for this game because, I mean, Google.com exists. But do I recommend EPSXE? Uh, considering the fact that you needed to type EPSXE with spaces in between to get past my auto mod that has banned the phrase EPSXE from my chat, that might give you an indication of how I feel about that uh, emulator. The fact that you had to work around the auto mod that bans the phrase. What's wrong with it? It's an emulator that was made in like 2005. It's insanely inaccurate and like the worst possible emulator to play PlayStation games on. 
The answer to what's wrong with it is to ask what's right with it, because it basically does nothing better than any other emulator that you could find. Like, literally use any other emulator. All right, what did we find? Strong versus lightning attacks. Defense goes up when damage taken. Impervious to evil attacks. I think we switch over now to impervious to evil attacks just in case. This doesn't matter. And then this is nothing. And this feeds on enemy souls. Wow, how fun. Okay. I don't know how to configure Bizhawk. Matt, what is wrong with you? Brother, go go to the website and just read. Just just do literally ten minutes of reading and you'll figure out how to set up the how to set up Bizhawk. Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you purposefully also what's up, Swarm? Why would you purposefully play a terrible emulator just because you don't want to read? That's that's unfortunate. I think my tutorials also has like a setup guide. If you type exclamation mark tutorials. So you don't even need to read. You can just watch a video that explains it all. Um, yeah, boosting my other stats doesn't really matter. I, I just can't imagine. Or just use Duck Station at the very least. For the, Christ's sakes, Duck Station takes zero setup whatsoever. And is like an infinitely better emulator. Better emulator equals better FPS. No, it's not about better FPS. It's about better accuracy, better ease of use, better visuals. There's absolutely nothing that EPSXE does better than um, any other emulator. I'm just realizing I don't have Leapstone. Maybe I should go back to the first castle to get Leapstone because this movement is actually very awkward to get through the second castle with and I might end up dying because of that. I think I'll do maybe like a couple of easy item location checks. But what are the easy item location checks? I guess death is pretty easy. I just have to watch out for the bats. What else can I do right now? I can do death. I can do Medusa, but Medusa's kind of scary. It is downright risky t to run that emulator nowadays. Well, I mean, if you're downloading it onto your phone, you're, you're basically downloading malware, but there's a lot of emulators on the app stores that are essentially just like data scrapers, just FYI. If you use a bunch of emulators on your phone, you're, you're likely just having all of your data get sent to random data farms. But you know. Is Leapstone alone gonna increase my odds of staying alive? You have 15 mana prisms, you can check Silver Ring? No, I can't. I don't have Jewel of Open. Thank you, Gorek, for the tier one. I'm gonna fight Medusa and see if that changes anything. Emulator needs access to contacts, Wi-Fi, personal data. Do you accept? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever, man. I really want to play uh, Chrono Trigger for the 75th time on my phone. So I'm down. If you want to emulate PlayStation games, just just use Duck Station. 
If you're a speedrunner, use Bizhawk. Otherwise, use Duck Station. It's like so insanely good. Emulators really matter for speedrunning. Yes, they do. Because if you're using an emulator that is inaccurate, it could give you either a disadvantage because the emulation is like bad, or it can give you an unfair advantage compared to people playing on the actual hardware. Because if your shit like loads seven times faster and is inaccurate to the actual like intended console uh, load times, that's not very fair. So there's many reasons why emulation does matter for speedrunning and why every speedrunning um, community has different emulation guidelines and rules. If you're curious about them, you can just look them up on the speedrun.com page for that particular game. All right, I'm gonna go fight death now, but I actually wanna refill my MP first, just to be safe. Yeah, Bizhawk and Mednefen are the only ones allowed for like official speedrunning and like tournament stuff or racing because those are the ones that are the most accurate to official hardware. However, it takes a bit to run the game. I don't know what you mean by it takes a bit. It takes a bit of what? A bit of these nuts? Does he read comments on YouTube chat sometimes? Yeah, sometimes. Tribute? You steal men's Sadly, souls. can't tier three. It's okay, Allendale. Your slaves. I know it's a lot of money. Tier ones still help. They still help a lot. Don't feel too bad. Oh, you primed. Uh, Prime still help. I mean, I'm still getting money from them. I don't care. Do what you gotta do. Support however you feel comfortable. No, no, no way to feel bad about that. Uh, Duck Station's default settings are um, faster than like normal console, so it automatically hardware accelerates. From my understanding, I don't think you can turn it off and make the emulator more accurate. If there is a way to turn that off and make the emulator more accurate, then it probably would be allowed. Um, but everybody just uses Duck, uh, Bizhawk anyways because there's just more support in general. All right, let's go fight death. Yeah, certain PlayStation communities will decide to use Duck Station and allow it. Basically because everybody else runs on PS2 and PS2 is so much better than running on a PS1 anyways that they don't care. But Symphony of the Night, the most common uh, version to run on is not PlayStation 2. So because of that, uh, the most common version to run on is either Xbox or PlayStation 1. Pretty much nobody runs on PlayStation 2, which is why we actually care about being accurate to PlayStation 1. And each community handles the rules differently. That's just part of speedrunning. Every speedrunning community is going to have different rules for different things. The timer broke? That's unfortunate. Uh, we were probably like 50 minutes in, right? Something like that. I don't know why it broke. That's unfortunate. It's a crime to download BIOS from PS1. Um, from my understanding, the way that... How do you define crime? <laughs> from my understanding, distributing the BIOS is a crime. But downloading it, I don't believe is. Uh, that was weird. Okay. 
Took it a little slow just to be safe, but... Also, what the fuck is this Windows security pop-up showing up? Get out of here. Okay, well, we have some info. We just need three Vlad relics and then we're done. That was my PC, yes. Well, now things are a little interesting. I mean... I think I can relatively... Um, with my mana prisms, I should be able to relatively safely get to Doppelganger. And I have access to um, the other location, so... <sighs> I'm nervous, man. I'm just nervous. Why is the orange band? <laughs> That's a good question. Why is the orange band? I'm scared. Chat, hold me. Get me out of here. Oh God, he's, he's not gonna hurt me. He would never. Kill them, kill them my summon spirit. Nice. Life max up. I'm hoping to find like Soul of Bat or something like that. That would be nice. I don't think that game game crash can really happen unless you wing smash through them, but I could be wrong. Stopwatch would be nice. I'm not gonna lie, but I do technically have Stone Sword. Now the question is, is it worth risking trying to hit him once with the stone sword versus just looping him the normal way? This could go very, very wrong many different ways. I'm gonna turn off Bat just in case he does something weird. I have Chrysogram. You are correct, I do have Chrysogram. Maybe this is actually the time to bring out the Chrysogram. You can hit me with a stone sword instead. Since you asked so nicely. There we go. Good call. Chris Chrysogram was the correct player to stay safe. However, we can't check his item. There is no way in hell we get through the dark octopus room without taking damage. I didn't think that through. Soul steal from the top. It's not. Hold on. Let me find a weapon that will lock me in place and then I'll do the input so I don't fall off on accident. They do respawn on the way out, which is an issue. So here's the question. Do I drop down there? Library card out, unironically might be the correct play. Because if this is Soul of Bat, like we kind of have to do it. Uh, I'm down to use Chrysogram for now. Reverse library card is not useful because we cannot check um, the stuff there, so. 
Although I could do reverse library card, check the items there, and then do a normal library card. That's not a terrible idea. I'm using the crystal gram just to keep my distance, because these guys have weird hitboxes. Worth it. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. <sighs> Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it. They have the powers of lag. Yep. Alrighty. What can I do? So you? I'm interested. <laughs> like, well, we I'm can interested buy a lot of mana prisms. I'm gonna buy like five more library cards. Is there anything else worth buying? There's um Power of Sire here for 2K. This might actually be very useful. Let's get like five of these. And like four of these. That seems fair. Have I ever played Dawn of Sorrow on the DS? Yes, I have. It's one of my favorites. Where's my Muramasa? Here it is, Red Rust. Yeah, we'll go back to this for now. Dawn of Sorrow is very good. It is a very good game. We never checked the item here. Flamberge? That's another two-handed that's not a thrust sword. Strikes enemies twice. Nice. It's the Tonfas. <sighs> okay, I think we go check Grand Falloon and um, Sogger and Gaibon now, because they are pretty much guaranteed to give us Leapstone, and that will be quite useful. We're going to start with uh, Sagar Gaibon for sure. Is there anything else that I need to do right now? Not really. Let's just go. Alucard Shield is banned. Alucard Shield specifically with Shield Rod. Using that uh, shield spell is banned. Go Castle Entrance. I feel like going from Castle Entrance is pretty safe to get to Sagar Gaibon. Life Apple? Yes. Why is it banned? Uh, because the goal of this challenge is to not take damage. Because I'll die if I take damage. But if I can instantly revive myself after dying, then what's the point? The MLG skeleton. Huh. You, you don't know which one's Slugma and which one's Grab on? Nice pineapple. Bark bark. Which one is Ligma true? And they're dead. Nice job. 
Better luck next time. Whoa. Form of Mist? Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. That's actually really nice. I guess we library card. Back to the library, yeah. Okay. Very interesting. More like Slagra and goodbye, true. Dude, if we find Power of Mist as our actual form of flight, that'd be so nice. Granted, I would still like to have Leapstone at some point, but still. This is doing more base damage. This does more damage with the power, uh, the special attack. I don't know. We'll use the Crystal Grim for a little while, I think. It is quite good after all. Okay, he's dead. Crystal Grim will hopefully carry us in this room. I will do a Soul Steal just to be safe at the start. Is that guy down? Is that guy down? go. I'm a little invested, I'm not gonna lie. We made it over an hour in. Jewel of Open? What? Where's Flight? Does it have to be Grand Falloon then? No. Oh, because that opens up um the other Alchemy Lab location. Whoa. What a weird seed. Because the other Alchemy Lab location uh, is locked behind... Um... Locked behind uh, Jewel of Open. So that's our flight. But we get access to... Um... Jewel of Open, which means we can also do a couple more first castle checks. Hopefully we find like bat or something while we're here. That would be so nice. I'm impressed so much dedication to one game. Congrats. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, this is my favorite game of all time, so I, it's not very hard for me to continue to play it over and over again. But still, yeah, we're doing Aperture. I've done no hit randomizer with, I think, casual logic. Or, no, it was Guarded OG, I think, back in the day. But that was like two years ago. This randomizer, I think, is a little bit harder to do it in, and it's a new type of randomizer, so it's a little more fun. Um, Yeah, let's do it this way. This way's cool. This game is okay at best. True, 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 true. The chapel is normally in, like, if you're playing the game like a casual, is normally locked behind Jewel of Open, yeah. Pretty mid. Yeah. All right. Duck station worked. Goodbye, EPSXE trash. Thank God. I'm glad. If anything, this stream is a success. Is a success because we just changed a life, everybody. Someone's life is infinitely better because they're no longer playing that trash emulator. Symphony of the I. It's I. Right. It's whatever. That's a good one. Reverse catacombs? Um, reverse catacombs can be troublesome for sure. I don't know if there's an easy... This is definitely the worst place. It's hard to pick. Yeah, this game didn't win uh, game of the year, obviously, so it's not a good video game. Ruby circlet is just a normal circlet. This was gold ring. No, oh, whatever. Yeah, this game can't compare to um, Baldur's Gate because it's the 
Baldur's Gate did re oh, <laughs> let's fucking go. Baldur's Gate really did be out here getting like every possible award. Game over. I mean, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. It's very nice to have. I think we still try and get Leapstone for comfort, for movement. But this is very nice. Mist Power of Mist is, I'm not gonna complain. It is really good. We have Chrysogram, Mist Power of Mist. We have a handful of Mana Prisms. We have a ton of library cards. We're in a good spot. Miss Power of Miss, we didn't get spit on. That's nice. Axe Lord armor? Oh, poggers. I love the Axe Lord armor. It's my favorite. Imagine if Starfield won. I didn't play any of Starfield, but I imagine it's just generic space version of Fallout, right? It's just like new Fallout, like Fallout 4 in space or whatever. I didn't play it. It's not. It's not as good, unfortunate. I don't know. Bethesda really did take their reputation after Skyrim and just was like, we have so much goodwill with the people. What if we did uh, everything bad? What if we just made mediocre video games until the end of time? And it's like, damn, man, that sucked. And then, ooh, I like Spike Breaker. So now Leapstone. Is that Silver Ring? What is this seed? This seed is like 12 steps to get to flight. What the fuck? I really don't want to go to Silver Ring. But I really want to have flight with Leapstone. Like, I really want Leapstone. Uh, Aperture's complexity is... Uh, eight, I think? The best Fallout game wasn't even made by Bethesda. I haven't tried the OG Fallout series, like Fallout 1 and 2. I definitely would probably like those games. But I just never got into them. Okay. A friend of mine wants to get me into Baldur's Gate 3. The only issue is just I don't have a lot of free time to play video games. I've said this many a times since most of my video gaming is done on stream. So because of this, it's hard to commit to doing any Baldur's Gate stuff. I'm just going to do this because those fucking guys scare me. I'll take another Power of Sire. Sure, why not? You think they meant New Vegas by Obsidian? True. New Vegas is also very, very good. I, I prefer New Vegas out of all of the Fallout games. The only issue with New Vegas is playing it on PC is like kind of a mess unless you uh, have all of your mods set up properly to actually run the game. Because otherwise the game does not function. Wow, we got the Masamune, guys. Poggers. Opal. Jewel that brings luck. It doesn't actually increase our luck. That, I think, is a bug. It's supposed to increase our luck. Either way. Yeah, New Vegas does have really good DLC as well. Probably have enough MP for this, right? Let's 
Let's refill. I'll do this item check as well, why not? Ooh. Improved status after sunrise. No, thank you. I'm good. I'm fine. Do I like any games in the Souls franchise? Oh, yeah. The, the Souls games are probably... FromSoft is probably my second favorite series out of any video game series ever. FromSoft, like... The only game from the FromSoft catalog that I've never really played was um, Sekiro. And I've had it on my computer for like 10 years. <laughs> or however long the game's been out. I, I got it once it was on sale for the Game of the Year edition or whatever. And then I just was like, I'm going to play it on stream. And then just never played it. Kingsfield, that's the greatest game of all time. Everyone knows that. I should play Kingsfield one of these days. Everyone ignores Kingsfield? No. Nowadays, I feel like most people are aware of Kingsfield. And its legacy for being the proto Dark Souls game. Where are the Vlads? They're probably in the second castle. I have Spike Breaker, good. Good to know. I want to keep this. I really do think that uh, it's a better sub weapon overall. Let me put Spike Breaker on right now. Okay. Uh, Armored Core 1, I believe, best action game? If I'm not mistaken. Armored Core definitely won something in the action genre. I think. Which makes sense. It's a high-octane mech shooter. Yeah. I mean, FromSoft is... They stay winning. Let's be let's be honest with ourselves. Spider-Man 2 is the friends we made along the way. Wait, what? Might as well grab it. Walkanut. Speaking of Vlads, that's probably our final Vlad, if I had to guess. All right, let's get out of here. Spider-Man 2 should have won something. It got nominated seven times and didn't win anything. Damn, get owned. <laughs> uh, get owned. I'm sure it's a great game. I personally am not the biggest fan of that genre of insomniac spider-man games i'm sure they've gotten really good i forget which one i played most i think i played their first one at a friend's house one time and it was fine they're just a little too on the um they're just a little too casual i should say it's a very chill game for sure susan lukey lucy of video games? I don't know who that is. So, yeah, sure, whatever that guy said. I'm sure that's not a weird comparison at all. Mario Wonder won best family game. Yeah, sure, why not? I still haven't played Mario Wonder. I have it. I bought it from, like, a, a local game shop. So I felt a little less bad about spending money on Nintendo. Okay. We just got to be careful here. I've honestly just been like wanting to play at co-op more than anything. Because I could just play it myself and I'm sure it would be a great experience. But I feel like co-op would be fun. Can you do online co-op for like the entire game? Is that a thing? Like, can you do the entire game online in co-op? It's Nintendo, so probably no. Yes, you can? <gasps> Nintendo, for real? Oh shit, hold up.
Maybe we do a tier three sub stream where I do co-op with tier three subs. Mm, perhaps. That'd be fun. Because you can have up to four people, right? All right, let's get out of here. I still have Spike Breaker on. Let me double check, because I definitely don't want to fuck that up. Yes, I do. Okay. Let's take it slow through these hallways. The only way I can die is if I get too cocky. Nothing tests friendship more than Mario Co-op. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see. Triple checking. Spike breaker. Spike breaking armor. I should be fine. It was Leapstone. Turns out it was Leapstone the whole time. All right, back. We have full cleared the first castle. That is every first castle location done. So that means there is two Vlad relics in the second castle, and that's it. Once we find the two missing Vlad relics, we can win the game. We're actually insanely close. And we can use the library card to warp directly to the second castle by holding down before using the library card. This is added to the Aperture preset to get a reverse library card so we can go back to the second castle very easily. All right. I'm just gonna... Tin Man scares me. There are not very many things in this world that scare me. Tin Man, terrifying. Now that we have Power of Mist, we can pretty safely do a lot of these checks, actually. Tin Man wants a hug. I'm good. I'm good. Not much of a hugger. Not, I'm not into hugging, specifically robots. How am I doing on Mana Prisms? I kind of want to use one to guarantee I can make it through this next room. Grind for Chrysogrim? That's a good idea. Hold on. You deserve a raise. Would I hug a lobster? Perhaps. If I was in the correct mood, hugs hugs for lobsters. Why not? <laughs> the schmoo wants a smooch. <laughs> There's hope. Bethesda and Blizzard suck nowadays. You're not wrong. Yeah, you're just not wrong. Creature surely has a Vlad Relic for us, because Creature always has the... Well, that's not a Vlad Relic, but it's also pretty good. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I think our next course of action is we just need to figure out where the frick we're going. I could use the warp. Oh, this is this is kind of scary. This whole area is kind of scary because there's enemies everywhere. The Jacko Bones, they... Fun fact about the Jacko Bones, their um, projectiles never despawn. Their projectiles literally never despawn, so long as you're on screen with them. They have an infinite timer on screen, which is, you know, fun and cool. Uh, my MP's a little low, not gonna lie. I should be able to make it to this, this room, though. Fun fact about Jacko Bones is that they're called Jacko Bones. The Jack and Jacko Bones refers, refers to the uh, action of jacking uh, off.
Okay. I think they stopped throwing bones after a while to prevent the game from crashing, but I could be wrong. Yo, is that Chris Grim? Yo! Standard sword, 21 damage. It looks like a Chris Grim. It's named Gurthang, and it sucks. I love random up. Miser. Oh god, I haven't wing smashed it all today. That was risky. That was a risky wing smash. What if it was Heaven Sword? True. Then it would be base. Good song. Okay. Uh, we have a spike breaker on. Okay. What a good song. This is definitely a cat jam. <sighs> All right, I think it's red rust time. Yo, Jogox Fate. Thank you for the Prime. Appreciate you. We just need two Vlad Relics and we're done. Just two Vlad Relics. <sighs> Son of a bitch. All right. Well, could be worse. Could be better, but could be worse. So... That's fine, I guess. I'm gonna do this item check, because why not? Fuck it. Maybe we can find a uh, Varda? Nope. And now I can make it through the spike room. Did I ever play the Lost Kingdom games? I don't believe I ever have, no. Cannot drop a wing smash here, or else we die. No big deal. <sighs> this next room is, it doesn't get any easier. Honestly, I have more mana prisms, so I'm going to use them. And I'm just gonna say screw this area. I'm I'm not dealing with it. It's just not worth it. Look at this. Look at this garbage. It's just not worth it. I'm doing this. I I'm I don't want to drop a wing smash and lose the run an hour and a half in. I really don't. Chrysogram should be enough here. It should be. I'm gonna power of sire as well, just to be safe. Sire doesn't have a hitbox. I love this glitch. Dude, come on. There's three locations left with two Vlad relics remaining. How does this happen to me? Dude, I bought... I spent $2,000 on these stupid fucking power of sires, and they don't have a hitbox. Look at this shit. No hitbox! God 
damn it, I wasted all my money! My apes! All my apes are gone! I got hit with the fucking crypto! This was literally a fucking NFT. The picture of Vlad was lit. They sold me a goddamn NFT. Can you believe it? I wanted the actual picture. And they're like, but actually you own it digitally on a, on a blockchain. Uh, so it's basically the same value, but <laughs> fuck off game. I got hit with the dad coin. <laughs> That's insane, man. Those uh, wing smashes are a little risky, but it's not that bad. This motherfucker coming up has ended my run. My The best run that I've had so far was ended by this guy. So we don't have a poison healing circlet, which means we can still die to the worms. However, I am immune to the flies and I am immune to his actual body. So as long as we stay away from him, we should be fine. Hitbox is stored in the blockchain, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, now we live in fifth. We live in a world of fifty-fifties. Either the last Vlad relic is at Gallimoth or is at Force of Echo. I don't know which one's better. Force of Echo. What's the easiest way to get there? That's the issue. <sighs> Probably warping from castle entrance. Up from Black Marble Gallery, you think? Library card done? Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. That, that is probably the correct play. I think getting to a warp room right now might be a little scary. Yeah, just don't fail a wing smash. Smiley face. How many library card or mana prisms do I have left? Six. That should be enough. That should be enough. Just move that for menuing efficiency. The reverse library can be kind of scary. You're not wrong. However, simply just don't drop a wing smash and it's fine. <laughs> that, I didn't need to jump into that missed transformation. That was a little too close. I'll, I'll be honest there, that was unnecessary. I'm gonna just refill my MP. Because it's free. Ectoplasm. Ectoplasm. Okay. Do not drop a wing smash. I have plenty of mana prisms. I'm going to use it for the rest of this section. 
I got mist and power of mist. We're gonna take advantage of it. I'm not about to get freaking cock lasered right now. I'm not gonna get cock lasered. I refuse. Oh yeah, Gas Cloud does work on Gallimoth. However, it, I probably wouldn't have enough magic to kill him with Gas Cloud, feasibly. Oh yeah, I could use that potion to finally stop having zero HP. So true, so true. Okay. Okay. This next room, I have to be careful to not die. I think I'm gonna gas cloud. Uh, or I could just wing smash. I don't know how I feel about this because I don't remember exactly the layout of this room because it was changed for the randomizer. I think if I use wolf plus power, uh, power of wolf, I'll get hit. So I think I'm just gonna use gas cloud for a while to scout it out because I should have enough MP to make it through. I just can't touch the water. I know if I go up right here, I can just exit this area entirely, but... I'm trying to remember, are there gremlin or gremlins? Are there cave trolls next to the section that is underwater? Because if I try and wing smash to this area and I touch the water and there's a cave troll there, I will die. Because the cave troll will just snipe me. Maybe we just kill them with gas cloud, actually. And then this is the underwater section, right? Yep, okay. That was the correct play. Straight up, the correct play was to just kill them with the um, gas cloud. So I have two options to get to death. We leave the way we came, or we library card. <sighs> Nervous. Because I can library card and then teleport, and I think that's technically a little bit safer. So I think I'm gonna go that route. How much damage am I doing with this Marcel? 90 per hit for the Crystal Grim. That should be enough to one cycle Dracula. I think that's enough to kill Shaft relatively quickly. Um, I don't think I have anything else to buff my strength. Do I have any strength potions and stuff like that? I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself. We'll worry about that when we get there. I don't think there was any in the shop either. I dropped a wing smash, but I was able to react fast enough. Thank God. And here I don't trust the Jacko Bones or the ghost flying skulls, whatever the fuck these guys are. So we're just doing this. That should be the last one over there. What is this? Did you see that? The fucking bone? I, I was like, maybe I can untransform here. And I'm like, no, but what if a bone bounces my way? I could have died there, man. I could have died. Stone Skull. Yeah, you're right. That's their name. Yeah, that one despawned. 
Oh, the ones that don't despawn are the ones that are next to the uh, spike traps. That's what it is. The ones that like next to the cock laser guys, those are the ones that throw bones that never despawn because they constantly bounce. That one um, didn't have anything to bounce against, so it stopped. Something like that. <sighs> to the mines. We have another mana prism for sure. We just gas cloud. Honestly, I'm worried about Shaft. I'm worried about doing enough damage to Shaft, but we'll see. I mean, I did pretty much everything I possibly could this seed to find good equipment. So, I'm gonna start the fight with max MP for sure. I don't have anything except for a luck potion. That's it. No other stat bonuses. I could try and use the Masamune, but if I drop the input, I die. I can't really, I don't want to try and vial stack because if the explosion, if the bomb type item that I use doesn't have a hitbox, the vial stack doesn't work. I think Crystal Graham is probably the safest option. I just need to react to his moves with a uh, mist power of mist. Because if I drop the Masamune input, I die. And I should be doing enough damage. I'm doing 90 damage per hit. Crystal Graham is insanely fast. It should be almost as fast as uh, double Buffalo Stars. Yep. Like I said, almost as fast. All right. This should be GG unless I die. <laughs> Obvious. But like, holy shit, man. Ugh. There it is. Go back oh my came. god. Trouble Let's fucking go, dude. No more. How, Took long enough, man. How how GG's holy shit. You have been doomed ever since you lost oh. the ability to love. Ah, uh, uh, sarcasm. For what Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Aperture Randomizer, without taking any damage. Soul. Matthew 16. That's probably a world first. I don't think anybody else has been able to do that. Tell me, what, what were Lisa's last oh. words? Hell yeah, dude. She said, do not hate humans. If you cannot live with them, oh, then at least hell do them yeah. no harm. For theirs is already a hard lot. She also said to tell you. World record? You yeah. What was the life. prediction like on this one? <laughs> Please, forgive me. <laughs> Farewell, my son. 12%. 12%, baby. Who's making out like a bandit? Chaos. Vania stays winning. With the 6,900 channel points. That's a pretty nice bet. That's a pretty nice bet. <laughs> Ooh, oh, you know, it's only 136,000 channel points. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that, it's, don't worry. That's like, that's nothing, really. That's not, ooh. Ooh. Did I finish the seed? Yes, I did. God damn, dude, it feels good. 
Feels good. Hell yeah. Hey, if you're uh, missing out on channel points, you could always uh, subscribe. You, you earn more channel points quicker if you're subscribed. If you're subscribed to tier three, I think you earn channel points like three times as fast or so four times as fast. It. So hey, exclamation mark tier three I'm maybe? You're all right. For your boy? I'm sorry. 